everyone. I am with Ashley Cook Hello. at History in Toronto, one of our new venues. Wasted years to, so baby, here's to getting back in the saddle, putting boots in the gravel, leaving her memory in an old dust cloud, itching this missing in merry go round. First of all, it's so nice. It is so nice. It's so modern. It's, it's so very beautiful. modern. Yeah. And you were just saying this is your first time in Canada. My very first time. This is like my second day ever stepping foot in this country. So and how it's really do you, cool. How do you like it so far? It's really snowy. <laughs> it's I was so that. snowy. Everybody's saying like, oh, this is a bad week to be here. But I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm from Florida. Like very, very warm state. And so this is like totally not the huge, but I'm getting used to it day by day. Florida is the place to be. I love like, Florida. Oh, how often do you go back to Florida? Not people? often enough. No? I'm playing like three shows down there before I play this big music festival called Tortuga like, yes. in like April. Um, but that's like the most recent time that I'll be going back to Florida. And then Key West Songwriters Festival, I'm going back down there. So like it's kind of like here and there, but I don't go back as much as I used to. My parents moved away, so... But they moved away? Yeah. Oh, so they don't live in Florida anymore? Nope, they live in Nashville now. Where oh, I live. okay. Yeah. Also, at least you're close to your family. Yeah, then. which is nice. But yeah, that's really it definitely nice. sucks to like not be able to go home to Florida, you know? <laughs> Do you guys have like a home there or still? In Florida? Nothing? No. Nothing at all anymore? Nothing. My grandparents live there, but we don't have a place there anymore, so. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully, eventually, you can get your place back and I travel hope. back and forth because Florida is the sunshine state. It is the best. It, I hope that I can like, you know, get a condo there or something at some point and just like go visit. Beachfront condo? 100%. Oh, like that. my gosh. It's a dream. We'll see. It's a dream. It's okay. It's going to happen. We put it out into the universe and <laughs> Manifest it's going to happen. It, Manifest yeah. it. Well, you're headlining a show like you were just mentioning yeah. in Florida, your home state. So how excited are you for that? I'm so pumped. It's actually my first time ever headlining a show, period. And so for it to be in my home state, I'm pretty pumped. I think it's already like selling really well too. Like we announced it like two days ago and it's already like really, really well sold. So I'm awesome. excited. Yeah. Everyone wants to come out to support their hometown I girl. I'm excited. It's yeah. going to be fun. <laughs> and now, so we're in Toronto. You are on tour with the Red Claws. I am. For their winter's a beach tour because winter is a solid beach. <laughs> let me tell you that. Um, and you performed in Kitchener last night. So how was the crowd? How was the vibe? Good? It was nuts. I honestly, you know, stepping foot in a new country I've never been, I was like, I don't know if anybody gives a damn or like knows who <laughs> I am. You know what I mean? Like I, you know, brand new artist, like trying to kind of just put that hat on and just expect like nobody to know anything. And I walked down on stage and they were all singing the words to my songs. And I was like, oh my gosh, like what? And yeah. what's, what's crazy is that the Kitchener show was sold out before they even announced I was on the lineup. So like those people like were fans of the Reclaws and also knew my music. So I was like, what the heck? This is so cool. Um, so it was cool. And then we had like a big line for merch to meet people afterwards. And so many people had said they've like followed me since day one on social media. And it's really, really cool. Everybody here is so nice. <laughs> like so nice. Maybe How? Americans are just like kind of assholes. I don't know. But <laughs> Like, we get that a lot, honestly. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, to me, I don't think Canadians are that nice. But I guess maybe to you so guys. So nice. Literally so nice. Yeah, that's funny. Well, today, it's Toronto, so yeah. expect a really fun crowd. Because us Torontonians, I was telling Griffin this, we know how to party. <laughs> I love that. So, that's awesome. So, a couple drinks on stage. Let's do it. We'll just yeah. throw it down. Am I just, like, shotgun something on stage? Just kidding. But the thought is fun. You should do it. Have <laughs> you ever know. done that? No. You should. I try. suck at One shotgunning. Time. Like, I can't okay, do it. Okay, fair enough. I don't know why. It's one it's of those okay. things. I feel like it's it's a technique. Or even yeah. like taking the beer open with like your teeth. Have you ever seen like people oh, do like, that? Like um, like what Haley Bieber does it. She like rips off like Oh the, like the bottle cap? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that before. That I'm would have like totally ruin my teeth, I feel like. They, it would completely shatter. Completely shatter. Right? That's what I'm saying. How about crowd surf? It's crazy. I've never done it. I've wanted to. That'd be but fun. I've never done it. I went on tour with Cole Swindell last year twice. I feel like he's the type of guy that would do that. Surprisingly, no. No? But the first tour that we went on was with Travis Denning, who's an incredible artist. And he, the last night of the tour, I was like, I think I'm going to crowd surf. And he was like, you won't. Like, and I chickened out when we were on stage <laughs> together. And he was like, send it. And he went and crowd surfed. Love that. But apparently like, people like grab you in places when you crowd surf. I feel like so. for a girl, you got to be a lot more careful. It's tough. I, but even for guys, like I know there's some girls out there that might want to. Grab just some stuff they shouldn't grab be grabbing. Stuff, stuff yep. shouldn't do. Um, now, do you have like a ritual that you do before you get on on stage? I have kind of a weird ritual. Okay, um, what is it? Let's hear it. I don't really, I mean, I'll have like a couple sips of like a Jack and Diet Coke. Okay. But then I have, I have essential oils that I like rub in my hands and like basically like deep breathe in. 
Okay. That's nuts. Okay, that's but okay. I know. But Were like, they from Sage? No, they all- it's my voice coach gave it to me, and it's basically like icy hot, but like for your vocal cords. Oh. Yeah. So you know icy hot, like. Yeah. No, I know exactly. Yeah. Icy. I didn't know they made that for like. They don't like make like it. it could be used for that. Yeah, it's not icy hot, but like it's something kind of similar to it, and so you like deep breathe in it, and it like really just opens up all your vocal cords before a show. So I don't know. I mean, a bunch of my friends have now gotten on the, the train because I've told them about it or showed them that it shows, and, and they like obsessed. it. Yeah. It's really, it's really cool. Good to know. Yeah. I'm an in arena host, so I'm like always on the mic. So that is very good. <laughs> I got to you. Know. I'll send it to you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah. Um, now I just want to take it back a little bit. So your song "Never Till Now." Yeah. Brett Young was on that song too. How did that happen? Like, how did did he hear the song and he's like, you know what? I want to be a part of this. Like, Kinda, that. yeah. Um, so I wrote that song middle of the pandemic kind of like a manifestation for the kind of love that I want to have someday. It wasn't like about anybody specific. Mm-hmm. Um, but so I, I recorded the song by myself, no feature on it. And I put it out and I started teasing it on like TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that. The song really took off. I mean, like 40 something thousand people made videos with this sound. It was crazy. And that's before I had a record deal, a publishing deal, any of that. So it was like independent artist. That's just awesome. Posting a song. It was so crazy. And my producer, we were, you know, talking about different ways to kind of, you know, vamp the song make it cool and he's like what if we added like a duet on it like I think it could be really cool and I was like oh my gosh like who would you think would be cool on that he was like what about like a Brett Young he has a lot of like love songs so he reached out to my producer reached out to Brett and he was like hey I have this new artist Ashley Cook and this song never till now and Brett was like wait I've heard this song all over the place. I love this song. Can I please hop on this song as a duet feature so it's cool like Brett Young knew who I was yeah of course anything so it was really special independent artist and you got brett young to help on your song Crazy. that's yeah. such an accomplishment and he fits this song like i can't really think of does. any other artist that would have sung it as well as the you two did on thank that, you. that track thank you so much it's cool because now i'm going out on a second tour with him this year awesome so we toured last year and then now we're going out again so it's he comes out for my set to sing never till now which is really special because like i'm opening for him and he comes out for my set that's amazing so, yeah, that's really cool. so cool we're well, gonna have a great year with yes. that completely great year but songs so like you released a couple songs couple new tracks yeah. I've been digging lots of them thank you so album coming out 100% is yes year. yeah I'm really pumped that's like big bucket list thing for me and I've been able to put out like you know bite-sized projects like six songs one song whatever kind of in between stuff but this is the first time that I'm releasing like a full-blown album like it's a huge album I won't say the number but it's a lot of songs and I'm really Ooh. excited yeah it's wow really fun Oh, are you going to drop like a couple more singles like here and there until then? We think so. We haven't quite figured out the plan yet. Okay, um, fair enough. Fair right enough. now we're in like recording pro- process. So like as soon as I get back from Canada, literally the day after I get back, we're going right into studio to record some more songs. So like as soon as we have like the full project, like the full list of songs that we've cut, then we'll kind of go back and see how many we want to put on, what we want to put on, and then kind of decide when to release and all of that. So, Oh, that's going to be exciting. Yeah. I'm I, I cannot wait to hear like all the other songs that you're going to have in store. But Toronto tonight, Winters, a uh, Beach, Ashley Cook is going to be taking center stage. So make sure you're watching. It's going to be a party. <laughs>